Hello, I'm Rosalie Hyde. I'm a licensed clinical social worker and I've been practicing in Houston for over 28 years. Most people come in primarily with depression and they may not even be speaking about the depression itself, but the primary symptom that most people experience with traumatic life is depression. Everybody's different and we want to pay very close attention to what is going on with the person. If they're too depressed, we certainly are not going to talk about traumatic life experiences. We're going to help them feel better first. In general, that's the goal, to help people feel much more in control of their lives, much more secure, and have somebody that they can do the work with before they ever get to dealing with the history. What we do as human beings when we are overwhelmed, particularly in childhood, is that we make these adaptations in our mind about ourselves. We think things about ourselves, we think things about the world that are distorted by the world that we live in then. And we want to, in therapy, explore where these thoughts and beliefs come from that motivate us to do and, and, and relate in ways that don't necessarily serve us now, but served us then. So then we're free from that past experience and thoughts to create new beliefs about ourselves that are more appropriate to now. Couples often come in with difficulties feeling securely close or even getting separate, interestingly enough. It's often very uh, helpful for a couple to begin and it's a relief to them to understand, oh really, that's what we're doing. It's not just that you are who I thought you were and that I'm a disappointment to you or something like that. Exploring in a deeper way anything that people bring to us and asking for more about that often is the most revealing thing we can do. And sometimes the client knows more now just because you ask the question.